Okay, my Kayla crew, today is a Stitch Fix day. Now, my last Stitch Fix box was kind of a bust. I ended up sending everything in that box back, so I made some specific requests, and this box looks pretty promising. So let's jump in and see if we have any keepers this time around. Okay, I have to say, I'm really liking what I see in this box. We're off to a good start. Let's start with this top. It's by fun to fun This is the Summer Flutter Sleeve Top in gray. It is $38. The fabric is 100% ring-on. You can machine wash this in cold water. It does say to line dry this. Now, I typically hang all of my clothing to dry anyway, and it was made in China. So isn't it a really cute top? I love the print. You guys know I was going to say that. I think it's so fun. I love the color too, and I feel like this will be really good for for layering when we have those warmer days. Throw in a cardigan over this uh, blouse and then when it gets warmer in the afternoon this is a perfect fabric for those warmer weather days. So yeah I really like this top a lot. I think the length is good and I want to come close so you can see the cute flutter sleeves. Isn't that really adorable? I love that look. It's got a nice V neckline or split V neckline. Actually I thought there were some ruffles. Oh, there are. Look at the neckline here. Isn't that really cute? It's got a little ruffle detail around the neckline. How adorable is that? So yeah, I think this is a really, really fun top. And then it does have this pleating detail, which I'm not sure if it's going to... Yeah, you can see that on screen on both sides here. So... Can you tell I'm going to keep this top? I love it. I think this will look really cute with white pants. And then they sent me a cardigan, which I was going to show you with the next blouse. But let me just pop it over this one. I've been wearing yellow a lot lately. I really, I think this was the second or third time I've worn yellow this week. <laughs> so yeah, I really like it or I'm really liking it this season, I should say. But even with a pop of color over it, you know, I think this one looks good over it, but I also think, we'll talk about this after um, in more detail, but I also think like a bright pop of pink, like a pink blazer or a pink cardigan, if you're a blazer person, you know, I think you could really, really wear a ton of colors with this. Not only layering, but on the bottom too. So you could wear it with brighter colored bottoms. It looks good with denim too, so yeah. I like this top a lot. So, yep, this is a keeper for me. Oh, I got to show you the back of it. I don't know that the back on top has any special detail, but we'll see when we watch back. So, I think we've got our first keeper in this box. Yep, okay, this box is already more promising than the last couple. All right, and the jeans are nice too, but we'll talk about those last. But a sneak peek here. Yep, cute, huh? All right, let me grab the next blouse and I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to take a little break to take these guys out. So now I'm back. The lighting might be a little bit different because it was nice and sunny and now it's a little bit cloudy, but it's still light out and I'm so excited that it's light out. It's after six o'clock, so that's super nice. Now let's continue with this next top by the brand Luck, L-U-Q. It's the re-tie front top in black. It's also $38. The fabric is also 100% ring on. Now this one says you have to hand wash this in cold water, but I would treat this top just like the last and put it in the washing machine in cold water on a delicate cycle and then hang it to dry. And this was made in China. So this is a cute top. The only thing is the tie now, it's kind of a big tie here, but I kind of think it's a cute look. I'm over the ties, but I think this one kind of works, doesn't it? What do you think about it? I love the concept of this top. I love the overall style. I think the colors are really pretty too. And I think you can lighten this top up with like, I'm gonna come close actually so you can see. So the floral print is like a yellow and white floral. So if you had like yellow bottoms in this color, it would be really pretty to wear yellow pants. It is a little bit low cut though. That's the only thing. I think the sleeve length is nice. Um, but what do you think? Is the tie too much here? I don't know. So I mean, <laughs> these kind of hang down a little bit too long. I don't know. I do really like this top though. So I actually wore a top like this. It might be by the same brand that I got in a Stitch Fix box maybe last year. It had a bigger floral print and it has a tie in the front. And that one didn't bother me too much. But, you know, I don't know. I think it just kind of works because of the style of this top. Hmm. I like it a lot. I really do. I like the sleeve length. I think this would be a good top for spring and summer. Let me show you the back of this top. It's cute, isn't it? I really like it. Hmm. This one might be a keeper too. Yeah, even with the ties here, 
I know I say all the time I'm over the ties, but I think the style for this one really works. But you could also kind of tuck them under a little bit. And I think that would work. So yeah, I'm going to watch back and see, but I think this may end up being a keeper. All right, let me throw the cardigan on. We'll talk about that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the cardigan. The cardigan is by Letty and Me. This is the Beecher Pointail Back Detail Cardigan in yellow. It is $44. That's not a bad price for a cardigan in the fabric. So the front and the sleeves are 79% rayon and 21% polyester. The back is 100% rayon. The tag says you have to hand wash this in cold water. This is a piece that I probably would follow the directions on the tag and hand wash this because of the detail on the back, which you'll see in just a second. And let's see, it was made in China. So I really like this cardigan a lot. You know, I think this has more of like a mustard or a golden tone to it, but I also feel like I could wear this in the spring and lighten it up. I really like this cardigan. It's nice and lightweight without feeling, you know, cheap. I love it. It has three quarter length sleeves. I gotta turn around and show you the back detail. I think it's so pretty. And the reason why I feel like I could transition this into spring, one of the reasons being because it's super, not super lightweight, but pretty lightweight. And the second reason is the back detail. So let me show you the back. You're like, Kayla, stop yakking and just show us the back. Isn't it so pretty? I love the detail on the back of this cardigan. I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, I think this is a keeper too. What do you think about it? I really do like it. Hmm. It pairs nicely with the blouse underneath. The only thing is I don't like the cardigan with the tie. You know what I mean? Like the tie details like throw me off. Maybe I should send that back. But yeah, it goes nicely with the colors of this blouse, doesn't it? So I think this is another keeper of this cardigan here. I want to come close so you could see there's some ribbon detail here on the sleeves. And then, oh no, I thought there was some down here, but nope, it's not. I think it's cute. There's some ribbon detail around the waistband. That's where I saw it before. So, yep, I think this is a keeper. I do. All right, now let's turn the camera down. We'll talk about the jeans. And then I've got a really, really cute pair of peep toe booties. Okay, time to talk about the jeans. The jeans are by Just USA. These are the Lola Button Front Skinny Jean in navy. They're in a size 16 and they are $58. That's not a terrible price for a subscription box and a pair of jeans in general, really. Uh, let's see, the fabric. See, the fabric drives me crazy. Now, if you guys have been around my channel, you guys know I love even numbers, right? Now, ready for this? 50% rayon, 38.9% cotton, 9.4% polyester, and 1.7% spandex. Come on, that drives me crazy. Made in Vietnam, and you have to, no, you can machine wash them in cold water. So I really like the darker wash. Now, I started my denim clean out finally, and I taped my non-distressed jeans and these are not distressed, but they do have some fraying at the ankle and I don't own a pair of jeans that have the fraying on the ankle, at least with this much fraying. And I think it's so cute. What do you think about them? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the fraying detail at the ankle. I just think it's adorable. I really love that look. So I may end up keeping these. They have the button fly too and the fraying. I think they're adorable. They do also have your classic five pocket style. Yeah. They fit well. I like them. I really do. All right, let me show you the back. I think they fit nicely too. So, yep, yeah, these, I think they're going to be keepers. Yeah, I know. I probably don't need another pair of jeans. What was my count? I think you guys are probably going to see the first part of my denim clean out. You're definitely going to see the first part. You're not going to see the second part because I haven't filmed that yet. I realized I should break it up into two pieces because I had so much denim and we would have been there for an hour. So I decided to break it up. Anyway, you're going to see that part first, probably before you see this. So you're going to be like, hey, like you have what, 15 pairs of denim and you're keeping them all. So why do you need to add another pair? Because of the fraying at the ankle. And I love them. I do. All right. What do I, oh, the booties. Let's talk about the booties. Okay, so let's talk about these cute peep toe booties. These are by DV by Dolce Vita. They are the Booker Heel in tan, size eight, and they are $65. That's not a terrible price for a pair of cute booties. Now, I am on the hunt for a new pair of peep toe booties in this color because somebody, and we won't name names, but she's right there. Yeah, so she chewed up one of my peep toe booties in this color 
last year. She was still a puppy and she's still a puppy too. So we'll forgive her. She's lucky she's cute, right? Now, I, those were from Walmart. So I only paid like 20 bucks. So I wasn't too upset and it was my fault. I left them out. I didn't put them in a closet when, you know, I ran upstairs. So I have to take part of the blame. But anyway, that's why I'm on the hunt for a new pair of peep toe booties in this color. So I had a pair from Walmart, like I said, and they were in the same exact color. The heel was not as high, but same style. And I loved them. These are cute too. I think I'm going to keep these. I love the way they fit. They were pretty comfortable too. They have a nice stacked heel. They have the buckle back here. So you can adjust the band here in the back. Love the pretty color peep toe. Adorable. Adorable. Love them. So yeah, they're going to stay with me. I can't, you can't beat the price. I love peep toe booties. I don't know if I've shared that with you guys before. I probably have, but you know, I love sandals and I love my booties and I feel like with peep toe booties, you get the best of both worlds, you know? So these are going to stay with me and we're going to make sure I keep them away from her. And I'll be right back. We'll do a quick recap. Okay, so this fix was so much better than my last couple of fixes. I was so happy with this box. Now let's talk pricing and what I'm thinking about doing. So the total for this box is $243. But remember, if I keep all five pieces, I get that 25% discount, which brings the box down to $182.25. Although in my state, I do have to pay sales tax, which would hike that price back up to close to $200 if not over, I can't do math like that on the spot. I use my calculator for that kind of stuff, <laughs> but it would bring the price back up a little bit. So I think I might end up keeping all five pieces. I love the peep toe booties. I love the jeans. I've still got the jeans on, of course, right? And I love that first blouse. I love the cardigan. The only thing that I didn't love, but I liked was that high front blouse. So you know, and I can see myself reaching for it. I would get some use out of it. I just, it wasn't a love like the other four pieces. So, you know, doesn't that stitch fix math get you sometimes where you want to make things a five for five? You like four out of five pieces and you're like, I've just got to keep that last piece to get the discount. That's how I'm feeling with this box. Although, you know, with this one, it's a like, it's just not a love. So it's not like I dislike the piece. I'm just not in love with it like the other pieces. So, I think this is a five for five. What do you think? I always enjoy reading your comments, but since I'm keeping the peep toe booties, we've got to do our best to keep them away from our friend over here. Yeah, because she loves, she's still a puppy, but she loves socks. She loves shoes. She has all the toys a dog could possibly ask for. A ton. I mean, she has a whole basket of them, but she'll go for the socks. She'll go for the shoes. As soon as I open up a closet, that's what she wants. She wants shoes. She wants slippers. She wants it all. <laughs> she, she's like, I don't want my toys. I want the slippers. But anyway, let me know what you think about this box. We're not here to talk about Hope, even though she's cute, right? So anyway, let me know what you think about this box. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I will see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion.